Hey guys, it's Louis Cuevas with the Greater Louisville Association of Realtors Technology Committee and today I wanted to show you a common problem that I see and I wanted to show you how we can fix that. Here's the scenario. You have a computer that you take with you to the office, you get your work done, you meet with clients, you put sensitive documents in here, then you might come home and you share it with your kiddos or someone else or maybe even just your spouse and they open it and they do their work on here and all under the same user. And the problem with that is that that particular person could accidentally delete one of your documents, they could change one of your programs, it's a lot of different issues. Alright, so today I'm going to show you how to fix that problem and it's really easy, so let's get started. Alright, so in this example we're going to look at an agent's computer that is sharing it properly with an assistant. So if you look here at the top right corner, you see that it is the agent's computer and obviously this would be the agent's name. Here's the agent's folder with all their documents, all that fun stuff. If, if you would pay attention to the background, if you notice it's a picture of Catalina Island. Also, let's take a look at what they're up to. So if you go into Safari, we see that they're checking out the Apple website and if we go into their a Word document we see that they've got um, a list of things for their assistant to do so we will uh, check back in on this but now let's take a look at how this is properly done now in this particular case we're gonna click on the agents name here and then we're gonna see here is the assistant profile I'm gonna click it so when I enter that password it's gonna take me over to this particular profile alright so now we've changed users and we are in the assistants user um, side of the computer if you notice it says assistant they've got their own documents here labeled assistant you can label it whatever notice the background is different now let's see what they're up to so on their safari they're looking at the greater Louisville association of realtors website and let's see on their word document they're working on some random project so as you can see it's two users and that's how you're properly using it with the same computer alright so now what I want to show you is how to create those user names now I want you to keep in mind that Windows has their own version of this and it's going to be very similar in this case in this case with the Apple computer we're going in we're going into system preferences uh, if you're using a window it's going to be the control panel uh, and all we're doing is going to the users and groups and then we've got to unlock it in order to have access and then as you can see right here is where you can add a user you just simply click add and you'll fill in all that information and that's how you create a user you can create one for your assistant for your daughter your son your spouse whoever it may be that way next time they log on they are on their own little system all right, guys, so I hope you found this useful. You're going to save yourself a lot of headaches going down the road. Now, remember, if you've got an idea that you'd like me to cover and share with the association, feel free to reach out to me. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me, and I'd be more than happy to help you out. But, guys, thank you so much for watching this video.